everybody and welcome back to Hands That Cook. My name is Linda and today we're going to make something called cabbage casserole. Now you're going to take a small head of cabbage, get all the bad leaves off of it, and you're going to chop it up. And you're going to put it into this 9 by 13 pan. <clears throat> now, if any of the leaves are squashed together like this, you're going to break them apart. And you don't have to be real particular. Just cut it up. Like I'm doing. And break it apart. Put it in your casserole dish. I didn't spray it. And you'll see quite a few of them are bunched up and you just want to get those unbunched. And when I get through doing this, I'll bring you back. I've got most of the cabbage cut up. It said small. This was bigger than small. So I'm going to set the rest of it aside. You can see it's about halfway full. Now it calls for a large Vidalia onion. I didn't have any large ones so I'm using two small ones. And uh, I'm just going to slice these up. semi-thin Oops. Ah, this calls for a sweet onion and it's set specifically called for Vidalia, so I bought some Vidalias. Chop them up some. You don't have to be real particular. but you do want them chopped up. Now, before I put the onions on, I'm going to salt and pepper my cabbage. Thank you. 
Now y'all I like pepper so you don't have to put as much on here as I am. Alright, now I'm going to take these onions and I'm going to scatter them. over the top of the cabbage. All right, now preheat your oven to 350. Now, I'm going to add, <clears throat> first I'm going to mix it together. Let me get this together here. One cup of mayonnaise. You know, I thought I'd like these cups because they're marked so you can see what you're putting in here. But getting stuff out of them is not the best. I mean, stuff gets caught in the grooves. One cup of mayonnaise. And one can of cream of chicken soup. And I'm going to mix this together. And get it mixed real well. do next here. I'm going to melt a half a stick of butter in my microwave. Sorry y'all. I was afraid it would um, solidify 
again before I used it, so I weighed it. Sorry. This ought to get it. Uh, yeah, it's good enough. All right, I've got my half a stick of butter melted, and I'm going to pour it into the mayonnaise and chicken soup mixture. Get all that good old butter out of there. Oh, my goodness. We're going to mix it in. Real good now. This is something you can make the day before. Keep it in the fridge and bake it the next day. going to take this and I'm going to pour it over my casserole. And don't pour it all in one spot, y'all. Pour it in different places so you can have an easier time of um, getting it out or getting it spread. You're going to spread this all over the top of these cabbage and onions. Let's see here. I see a few pieces of chicken in this chicken noodles, chicken, cream of chicken soup. All right, now that I've got that on there. I'm going to um, get ready for the topping. Hold on just a minute.
Now, the topping is going to take one sleeve of butter crackers that you've crushed. Get this open here. Ugh. Well, Now you're going to use one cup of shredded cheese. I'm using a sharp cheddar. These are, I'm going to have to open another bag. This one is um, not finely grated, but the other one is. So we're just going to have to deal with it. One cup of shredded cheese. If y'all don't want to buy the already shredded, shredded, shred your own. I, this doesn't bother me at all to use already packaged shredded cheese. All right. Now. I'm going to take a stick of butter, and I'm going to um, pour it into this. I'm going to mix this up first. Yeah. 
So here's my stick of melted butter. I'm going to pour it right in here. And I'm going to mix it up. Till everything's wet with the melted butter. All right, now this is going over the top of. The mayonnaise and whatever else I put in there. So you ought to have plenty. do this with. Alright, now I'm going to put this in a um, 350 degree oven. I'm going to bake it for 45 minutes until the top is brown and it is bubbly. If it's not bubbly after 45 minutes, then you leave it in there longer. And I'll bring you back. All right, we're back. I cooked mine 50 minutes. It was done at 45, except the top wasn't brown enough for me. So I cooked it an extra five minutes. And, um, then I let it cool about 10. And I'm going to put a slice of it on the plate for Sam to taste. I could have put a little more cabbage in there, I think. But I let this cool mm, about 10 minutes. Sam's going to come taste it. You ready, Sammy? Yeah. Is it cool off enough? I think so. Y'all add a little more cabbage. Well, it sure smells good. I I really didn't think cabbage uh, casserole sounded that great, but <laughs> well, that's a surprise. Tastes great. I like that little, uh, little crunch you get on the top. Well, thank you. And the taste all the way through. It's very... Mm-hmm. Very good. Good? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> kind of surprises me. Well, you know, you got to admit cabbage casserole. That doesn't sound real enticing. But after you taste it, it is. 
And that's what matters with food is how it tastes. Very good. Would well, you? Would I? Could I fix it again? Would you sure. eat? You like it? Mm -hmm. Well, y'all, this isn't my recipe. This is a recipe by Brenda Grant, uh, not Grant Gant, and um, I'm going to be using a few of her recipes here in the future because they're different. And she's an older woman like me. In fact, we're about the same age. So, um, I, I thought this was a, uh, different and amusing and, and I wanted to, um, make it for y'all. So, here it is. I'll put the recipe below and, uh, you can try it and add more cabbage than I did. I, I forgot that it shrinks down so much. Anyway... I probably could have used the whole cabbage. I hope y'all try it and love it. And uh, I mean like Sam does. So um, like and subscribe if you haven't. And hit that little bell so that you'll be notified every time. When the bell is hit, there's a box will come open and one of the choices will be all. Hit all. And thank you for spending part of your day with me. I appreciate it. Until next time, you all take care. And God bless every one of you.